Hey, happy Friday, everybody. Today is time for the Friday Five. It is Friday, and it's time for Five Minutes with Phil. Thank you once again for joining me. I, I Hey, hey, we are looking at the weekend. How cool is that already? And I pray that this has been a good week. And now I want to kind of want to send you off this weekend with a, <clears throat> a passage of scripture. It's a real powerful one for me. And I hope it is for you too. It's, it's, a, it's a great scripture that I think can carry us through <laughs> not just this weekend, but also really the rest of our lives. And just as we were yesterday, we're going to be back in the book of Isaiah again. And God is once again speaking and he shares, um, he shares a truth about himself <clears throat> that is really important for us to grasp on a regular basis. And I don't know that we grasp this enough. And it's in Isaiah chapter 58, and we're gonna to go to verses eight and nine. And I wanna show this to you, okay? So take a look at this. Here's what God says. My thoughts are nothing like your thoughts, says the Lord. And my ways are far beyond anything that you could imagine. For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. Now, let's talk, okay? Do you know where I think we get to the most trouble as um, followers of Christ? We, we get into the most trouble when we start, uh, start telling ourselves that God does things like we do. Or, or, or God's default response is the same as ours. That God does things like we do. God makes sense of things like we do. God, God would certainly do it this way because this makes sense to me. Have you done that? You know, God wouldn't let this happen because I wouldn't let this happen. God would do this because I would do this. God, you know, I love my kids. And so since God loves me, he would do the same thing. And, and that's a trap we could fall into. Because what happens, I create this box that is, for me, let's just call it my Phil Anderson box, right? And within that box is the way that I do things. It's the way that I think of things. It's the way that I deal with stuff. And, and I, I somehow think that God fits into that box. But then I read the scripture and it says, so here's my box. God says, well, my ways are bigger than your ways. And my thoughts are bigger than your thoughts says the Lord. And so here's the thing. When I start thinking of God in human terms, when I bring him down into my box, what happens? I get a distorted view of God. I get a view of God that makes sense to me, but it's not necessarily accurate. And I, I want to caution us today you might be at a place where you don't understand God or you don't understand why the Lord does or does not do something. And the problem is we're trying to figure God out within our little box and God's beyond our box. God is beyond our thoughts. God's ways are beyond our ways. We, we, we can't comprehend those things. We, 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 we can't figure that out because that's what makes him God. He's so much bigger and higher and greater than us. And so, so I, I recently said this in a sermon. What is that journey that we have to take from our box to the correct understanding of God? That, that journey is called trust. And as I trust God, I can accept that not only are his ways higher than mine and his thoughts are higher than mine, but he loves me all the same 
probably more than I even believe or understand, and he's got this. So be encouraged today. He's got this. His ways are higher, and he's got you. He still loves you. We said that last time, but his ways are higher. So take that with you this weekend and realize that even if you can't comprehend what's going on, God does, and God's got it figured out. Okay? Thanks for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. We love you, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.